In this video, I'm going to show you some advanced techniques using OBS to screen share anything you want to Discord, including console footage with its audio. And you can use this trick for things like podcasting to get a better image than the camera share option or the virtual camera option in Discord. So the first thing we want to go over is in Discord, you've got two kinds of screen sharing options. You've got application share and screen share. If you choose screens, this will just share the image of your screen and no audio. But if you choose application, it will try to grab the audio from the application that you're sharing. This is how we're going to get audio from your game consoles to Discord, but we have to make sure your OBS is set up properly in order to share the audio. The first thing we want to do is right click on your capture cards audio meter in OBS and go to advanced audio properties. And you're going to want to set monitoring to monitor and output. This will then send the audio to your headphones or whatever speakers or anything that you want to listen to the capture card. If you could already hear your capture card and that monitoring box was that set to off, that means you have the audio coming through either through third party software, like the Elgato capture card software, or you're routing it through a audio extractor to your Go XLR or your mixer. If you're hearing the audio twice, what that means is that the audio is coming from somewhere else, either an audio extractor in your setup to a Go XLR or your soundboard. If it's doubled up and you want to fix that, what you want to do is go into the settings and we want to go to audio and you want to go to monitoring device and you can set this to something you cannot hear. This will make it so that you don't hear the audio twice, but your broadcast to Discord will still have audio. So if I set this to the real tech digital output, it's a sound card that's built into my motherboard, the optical output, but it just doesn't go anywhere. Nothing's hooked up to it. If I do that, the audio will still get captured in Windows and played, but it will not be heard. If you want to be able to hear it, then you need to set that monitoring device to default or whatever headphones or sound card that you're planning on using. Now what we want to do is get a clean image sent to Discord for application sharing. And the way to do that, so you want to right click on the capture footage or above it. I like to right click in the gray area above because sometimes if you're selected on a source, you get extra options. If I go above the source in this light gray area, so what you want to do is choose full screen projector. So if I full screen project this, it will now take over the entire screen with a window. And if you want to make sure nothing goes above it, you can right click again and say always on top, or you can change the screen that this is going to. Now what we want to do is share this properly in Discord. Click screen share and go to full screen projector. If you click that and you choose whatever quality is available to you, the highest that you want to stream at, and you click go live. So now anything that you add to OBS, let's say a text source, a camera, anything will now show up on the stream just as it does in OBS Studio. Using this will allow you to send your consoles audio, your camera overlays, anything you want to a Discord screen share. It's fantastic. Using this method will actually get you a cleaner image for your camera as well. So if you're doing like a video podcast or you're having people on your stream where they're sharing their camera, the camera share option using virtual cam is not that great. The quality is much lower than this. So you can actually use this trick to send your camera footage from OBS directly to Discord using application share. I highly recommend that everybody use this method to share their camera. So if you're looking for the best quality video footage for your podcast, for your guests, this is a great way to go. And if you want an even sharper image, you can actually do the screen share if you don't need the audio. Using the screen share can be even higher quality than the application share. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.